Dividend paying stocks are very attractive to investors because they provide regular cash flows. Dividend stocks also provide a hedge against inflation, especially during market downturn. Even Warren Buffett, the world's greatest investor, loves stocks that pay dividends. In fact, 90% of Mr. Buffett's holdings are dividend paying stocks. However, choosing the best dividend paying stocks entails time and effort. And majority of Filipinos don't have the time and capability to analyze companies. Fortunately, there is a mutual fund that focuses on investing on stocks that pay regular dividends in the Philippines. It's called Feliquity Dividend Yield Fund. This mutual fund seeks long-term capital appreciation through investing in listed stocks that pay out dividends while taking into consideration the liquidity and safety of its investments to protect the interest of its investors. In other words, this mutual fund comprises stocks that are high quality and are commonly traded in the Philippine stock market. Its top 10 holdings include PLDT, Meralco, RCR, ICT, Globe Telecom, Nickel Asia, Emreed, Areed, Ayala Corporation, and SM Prime Holdings. Its sector breakdown comprises holdings, property, financial, services, industrial, and mining and oil. Going into the fund facts, this mutual fund was launched in February 7, 2014 with a minimum investment of 1,000 pesos and a minimum additional investment of 500 pesos. It has a minimum holding period of 90 days and an early redemption fee of 1%. Now let's talk about the important factors I look at when choosing a mutual fund. Investment style, fund manager, expense ratio, sharp ratio, and fund performance. The investment style of this mutual fund is active investing. It seeks to beat the performance of the benchmark, which is the PSEI. Active investing means that the fund managers themselves are the ones who choose which stocks to buy and sell. The fund manager for this mutual fund is Phil Equity Management Incorporated. Its expense ratio is 2.26%, which is lower than the average expense ratio of 3.05% for equity funds in COL Financial. Expense ratio is the percentage of fund assets used by Phil Equity to pay for administrative, management, advertising, and all other expenses per annum. The sharp ratio for this fund as of June 15, 2022 is negative 0.30%, which is slightly better than the average sharp ratio of negative 0.34% for equity funds in Sewell Financial. Please remember that the higher the sharp ratio, the better. Sharp ratio is used to measure the expected return per unit of risk for a zero investment strategy. And lastly, fund performance. Since this mutual fund was only launched in 2014, it's only been in existence for 7 years. It has a 1-year return of 15.41%, 3-year return of negative 0.44%, 5-year return of negative 0.02%, and 7-year return of 0.83%. The dividends received from companies that comprises this mutual fund are reinvested back to the fund. So far, this mutual fund has beaten the PSEI in all of the time periods I just mentioned. So in summary, this fund is for investors who do not have the time and capability to study individual dividend paying stocks. This fund is for investors who wish to own stocks that are not that volatile relative to non-dividend paying stocks and can pay regular cash flows even during recessions. The fund managers from Philiquity Management will take care of managing the buying and selling of stocks in exchange of fees that investors pay, called expense ratio. Based on its fund performance, this is one of the few mutual funds that beats the index in 1-year, 3-year, 5-year, and 7-year annualized return. Its expense ratio and sharp ratio are better relative to the other equity mutual funds in COL Financial. If you think that this mutual fund will be able to bring you to your financial goal while taking into consideration your time horizon and risk appetite, then invest with due diligence. 
just a reminder, this is not a financial advice. Hopefully this video helps you invest smarter. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Salute.